So good morning to you all. Welcome to our second session of online classes. As mentioned in my last video, we will be discussing in more depth on the topics which are connected to differential educational attainment or achievement. So the main social group related to differential educational attainment is social class, gender and ethnicity. So for today, we will start with social class. When we consider social class, there are material factors as well as, well as cultural factors which influence a child's educational achievement. So for today, we will concentrate on material factors, that is material deprivation. So what is material deprivation? It is closely related to poverty and it means the lack of ability to be able to buy or afford basic resources. And this tends to impact negatively on a student's educational achievement. It is also mostly home factors and therefore there is a close link between poverty and social class. When we talk about material deprivation, it is mostly related with working class families. These type of families tend to get paid lower wages and are much likely to be uh, living in poverty. Material deprivation also implies poor diet and health. That is, in terms of diet and health, according to Marilyn Howard, children from poorer homes tend to have lower intakes of energy, vitamins and minerals resulting to a weakened immune system and therefore they are more prone to illnesses which implies taking more time off from school and this tend to affect their academic performance. So with lower energy level, they will have difficulties to concentrate in class. Another factor related to material deprivation is poor housing condition. In terms of poor housing condition, more working class families live in overcrowding houses, which make it much more difficult for children to study. And even though we tend to say that the government is providing us with free education, but there is the hidden cost of free schooling. So according to David Bull, there is a cost to pay for free schooling, which means there are many items that students need to buy for their school, even though we have free education. And children from poor families cannot afford the same equipment for their school. Emily Tanner et al. stated there is a heavy burden on poor families caused by the cost of things like uniforms, books, computers, school trips, art, equi uh, equipment, sorry. So by the end of this explanation, you will be able to define material deprivation and discuss on how material deprivation is related to educational underachievement. Okay, so for the time being, uh, try to work out the question that I will be posting on the group. And also for our next session on Friday, we will look in more depth on the cultural factors. So for the time being, uh, goodbye and stay indoors.